Vingroup, Vietnamil, Hòa Phát, all are the top domestic enterprise that reach Vietnam to the world. And now, we are all wondering who's next. So today, we, from Richard University from Hanoi campus, are proudly here to propose an investment opportunity on GammaDap, the number one profit port and logistic operator in Vietnam, with one year ticket price of 60,000 BND, resulting 23% of the potential. GammaDap's visit is divided into two key segments, port and logistics. Regarding port, container handling is the core service, which is performed by GammaDap and its subsidiary, contributing a 3% total annual revenue. Regarding logistics, GAMDEP distinguishes itself by having a unique integrated logistics solution, ranging from transportation, storage, distribution, to air solution. These services are mainly provided by CJ, GAMDEP Associate, with 32% contribution to the company's profit in 2020. We do believe GAMDEP will be a valuable investment thanks to the convergence of quick factors, scale, fit, and sustainability. Let's come to the first point. GammaDev has large scale in the booming industry. The system of GammaDev contains of eight ports spread in all key clusters of Vietnam. The total capacity reached 2.4 million till and 2 million tons of cargo in 2020. Therefore, even 11% market share would become the number third port operator in Vietnam. Heading to the future, Vietnam container volume growth is expected to keep in the top star position and sustain the impressive growth of 10% CAGR for the next six years. This industry growth is backed by the top one FDI inflow in Asia and numerous trade agreements. Firstly, the FDI inflow is fueled by the low level cost of transit and tax incentive of Vietnam. Secondly, the globally second mode FDA will stimulate Vietnam total trade, especially the EV FDA recently started and the largest FDA, RCEP, coming into effect in 2022. And GAMADEP has already made it move to capture the chain. In the north, Nanning Port could become the dominant player to capture the booming demand from Incha Asia with a total capacity of 1.5 million till. Meanwhile, under the chain of deep support, accommodating massive size, KMF by Custer in favor to become the Asia chain shipment hub with an explosive rate of 15% care for the next six years, would pay the way for the big deep support gambling. Therefore, in total, GammaDev could leverage its scalability to reach 6 million till in 2027. Besides tentative scalability, GammaDev is also expected to have a high speed growth backed by its strong competitiveness. First, the strategic location of being close to South China Sea enables GammaDev to capture the raising chance of mega ship transportation. With larger port areas, longer berth, and deeper draft, it could serve a larger vessel at 30 to 50% compared to peers. This will provide GammaDev with a higher container throughput, therefore, we speed up its volume growth in the near future. Secondly, GammaDev also stands out regarding handling service quality. Compared to peers, it is able to reduce port quota by 60% for line of customer, which could lead to cost saving up to 60,000 USD dollar per day. This advantage is mainly driven by the company's strategy to invest in modern infrastructure, which completely outperformed domestic peers and pay way for GammaDev to recruit more and more customers from competitors. Lastly, collaboration with Big Shipping Line also empower GammaDev to increase its volume as quickly as possible. Regarding long-haul service, its partner with CMA, CGM, the third largest liner in the world by 13% control in Germany, and for Incha Asia Road, its key partner in Jiangming with the cheap bit transportation costs. Ultimately, with the strategic location, superior service quality, and strong partnership, we expect GammaDev to maximize its capacity faster than peers. As a result, after seven years, it could increase its volume by more than three times, leading to market share expansion from 11% in 2020 to nearly 80% in 2027. Besides immense growth due to speed and scale, we believe GAMADEP could ensure sustainable development thanks to its persistent strategy toward ESG goals. Guided by the revenue ESG model, we show that GAMADEP scored 0.6 out of 1, which is impressively high compared to its international peers. This high score is backed by transparent strategy in each of E, S, and G pillars. Regarding environment, GAMADEP extensively involved in three aspects, water, fuel, and renewable energy. Its key actions include Utilizing wastewater treatment system, electronizing port equipment, and deploying solar power. These actions could help come to save 50 tons of CO2 emissions per year, which in long term protect the sea environment and prevent GOMADEP from the risk of natural disaster. For social aspect, GOMADEP is well 
channel for its dedicated stakeholders management, including internal, external, and society. In particular, GovDev distinguished itself by professional employee training programs and numerous charitable activities for society. Thanks to this action, GovDev not only has high quality labor with low turnover rate, but also can firmly maintain its brand name in the port industry. Lastly, the high score of governance is the result from three key drivers. Strategic shareholders providing future vision, increasing transparency backed by huge involvement of independent directors, and extensive business comprehension of BOM to capture new opportunities in the future. Creable investment tactics have been fully integrated in every aspect of German net financial performance. After three second year, we believe German net revenue will take back a strong growth momentum of 8.1k world, with a key driver being the port segment, thanks to intensive increase in capacity of non phase 2, 3, and 5% raise in the port tariff that been act by the government. Moreover, we expect German net growth margin to reach 40% due to high utilization rate, low offering cost, and technology application that could further cut the labor cost. Regarding net margin, we forecast this ratio to drastically grow to 35%, which is attributed to improving gross margin, tech redemption, and especially immense contribution from associates. Particularly, the implementation of German Link will translate into a huge boost in earnings that will account for even 40% net profit in 2027. It's by heavy investment, German net solvency ratio are still well managed. This combined with a strong capital generation to support the long term growth. In overall, due to a net margin expansion, ROE would pull to 18% by 2027. So, how does it directly affect you, investor? Well, EPS is expected to start with KGO up to 21%, while the payout ratio would pull to 80% at the end of a podcast period. We issue a fire recommendation on GamerDev with one year turkey price of 23% subside based on DCF analysis and some of the past valuations with equal weight. For DCF, the cost of capital is estimated at 12% for the 3.5% risk free rate, while the terminal growth rate is 3.3%, calculated by the long run seaport industry, Vietnam GDP, and inflation growth. After running this sensitivity, we see a potential upside for higher terminal growth rate based on the booming industry and given their favorable market positions. Meanwhile, there are limited downside. Thanks to the impressive capacity and margin expansions. We expect GamerDev net profit we enjoy a tiger of 28%, in which the profit of port based on revenue and cost of goods sold for revenue will break down into eight ports and forecast by port tariff and container volumes. By cost of goods sold is calculated by four key factors of GamerDev cost model. For other segments, we also break it down and forecast by the sales and net profit margin. We also use some of the path valuations to better evaluate the detailed contributions of separate segments. The target AV EBITDA of port in 9.4 times, while the target PE of CJ and SEF logistics is 16.3 and 15 respectively. These rate equals our peers group with a variable business model and top rank positions. We did write a target PP of 0.85 for rubber segment. 20% discount from peers to reflect its inability to generate return. In addition, gambling value is, is, is ter determined by the DCF method to better uh, effect, uh, reflect its cash flow generations. We also conducted the scenario analysis in our pool case. The target price is 47% upside, in which Gabinet can fully expand with faster rate and capture higher market share. Our best case indicating 50% drop of its current price, but we see this is low probability. Presentation by investment risk, we identify competition and port delays. That's two key risks to Gabinet valuation. Regarding competition, there is a possible increase in supply of 4.5 million tail in high form and climate by area. Regarding global players, Gomalink could get trouble in pursuing transshipment hub dreams as shipping lines still prioritize deep water ports in major countries. However, we believe the super real competitive advantage together with strategic BOD vision would allow Gomalink to keep up with the explosive volume. With three huge projects in the next five years, Gomalink might fail to execute its plan due to capital rationing. This risk could be mitigated as Gomadev has a well-prepared expansion plan and has developed a flexible capital raising approach, of which one of the most potential ways is to seek shareholders from top shipping alliances. We therefore restate our buy recommendation with 23% upside based on Gomadev 3S, enormous scale, super real speed, and long-term sustainability. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Thank you.